three, two, one, ignition and lift off. NASA launched Juno on August 5th, 2011. On July 4th, 2016, it will become the first spacecraft to peer under the clouds of Jupiter's massive surface. It has already made the farthest solar-powered trip in the history of space exploration, made even more impressive by the fact that in Jupiter's orbit, it receives only 4% the amount of sunlight we have here on Earth, which amounts to only 486 watts of power, the equivalent of about eight standard household light bulbs. And once it nears Jupiter's surface, that will drop to around 420 watts due to radiation degradation. The radiation exposure during the course of the Jupiter orbit will be nearly 60 million times that of Earth's atmosphere. Needless to say, not many man-made things have endured anything near the punishment that Juno will over the course of its mission. But after five years of traveling, it will reach its destination. By looking deep into Jupiter's atmosphere to measure the planet's composition and climate, track its cloud motions, and map both the magnetic and gravity fields, Juno will not only provide spectacular, never-before-seen images, but unprecedented insight into the formation of our solar system.